Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Makeup Monday. I am stoked. I always say that, but I am always excited to film for you guys. I was lucky enough to receive the entire collection of the LA Girl Fanatic palette or eyeshadow palettes. I've actually had these about a week or two weeks sitting there. I really wanted to wait for Makeup Monday to do a makeup tutorial and I was so torn. I was like, what palette should I use? These are the four new eyeshadow palettes and let me tell you guys, LA Girl is definitely a brand that I feel like sometimes can be underrated. Their products are so, so good. And you guys will see, I mean, you guys can see by the look. You guys already know how this video is going to play out. So if you guys are interested in swatches, my honest opinion on these, the pigmentation, the blendability, uh, quality, price, all that good stuff, go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, let's jump right into the video. This is a little card that came in with my pure package. It just says LA Girl Fanatic Palette Eyeshadow. And on the back, it has the names of all the eyeshadow palettes as well as a little bit of information. Here it says, are you an eyeshadow fanatic? Yes. <laughs> we are. Meet our new fanatic eyeshadow collection. Four unique palettes with 12 richly pigmented shades in an array of mattes and satin finishes. Create a fabulous eye look to inspire beauty we are your biggest fan. Now this one says that they are matte and a satin finish, extremely pigmented powder, soft and sil uh, silky formula. If you guys want to hashtag LA Girl Cosmetics or LA Girl Fanatic, you can possibly be featured in their page. We're quickly going to run through some swatches of each individual palette. I think for today's video, I want to dig into the Surreal Dream palette, which is this one right here. It just has really pretty like blues and cool undertones and obviously I am like in a blue vibe so I think this is the one that I'm gonna use today so really quickly let's jump into the swatches so I don't talk too much and this video is not 20 minutes long that way we can jump into the eye tutorial We are starting with the base. You guys know this is my jam. The P. Louise base 02 is the bee sting. Okay, it is such a good primer to apply your shadows. You don't have to set it. You can, but they say that you don't have to. Really quickly before we jump into the tutorial, I think instead of just trying to use one palette, I will try... I will try to get into as many palettes as I can so I can get a little bit of a taste of each individual palette and I will let you know if there's any fallout in any specific palette. So with that said, now let's jump into the tutorial. So we are starting with the nudist palettes. We are taking that dark brown and holy pigment, you guys. I am not joking when, I, when I'm saying that I was literally so shook by the pigmentation on this like there was so much i i don't even know what to do with it okay after that i took a small little brush i believe this is the pink martini or the pink bar brush these are really really old i have had them for such a long time and as you can tell i do dig back into the palettes because i wanted to bring the brown up a little bit higher than my crease because we are going to start blending now I'm going to jump into the Feverish palette and I'm taking this like orangey, I don't know if it's a brown, but it's an orange color. And again, pigment on pigment on pigment. I was so surprised. I was just happy overall with the outcome of these eyeshadows, the way they perform, the quality, the blendability, the pigmentation. It was just there. I'm going back into the Nudist palette and I'm taking this like cream vanilla shade. I love these shades. I say that every single time. And I'm telling you guys, the day that I come out with an eyeshadow palette, you best believe there is going to be a shade like this 
in that palette because they are so necessary and they just complete a look in my eyes. I absolutely love a cream vanilla shade. Now what I did is I took a clean brush and I made sure that I blended that whites with that orange so there's no harsh lines in between. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my P. Louise base and I'm going to stamp my eyes. I like to look up just like that and you can see where your crease naturally folds. I have slightly hooded eyes. I feel like my eyes are just wrinkly. <laughs> so I do have to go a little bit over my crease. Now once you've cut your crease and you've had it nice and clean, you want to go back and repeat the same steps. Literally the same eyeshadows that we applied on our eyes is the same thing that you want to do for the outer corner. This is just going to ensure that you have again that gradient effect from whatever shape you are putting on your lid to the outer corner. And then I went back with the brown and I made sure that that was nice and smoky. That brown is just such a beautiful color, you guys. You have to get this palette. Now I'm gonna jump back into another palette. This is the Sweet Dreams. And I took, <laughs> yeah, I took that blue eyeshadow and I was shook. Now keep in mind, I did wet my brush, but even without me wetting my brush, the pigment was unreal. It was so creamy. It was just, oh, I didn't even have to like, dig back in too many times. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my CoverGirl eyeliner. I'm not sure, oh yeah, this one is called the Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in Sleek Onyx. Oh my God, I had never tried such a creamy and pigmented black eyeliner. It just glided on to my lower lash line in my tight line, it was just perfect. After that, I did go back and just blow out a little bit the lower lash line with the black eyeliner, a little bit of black eyeshadow, a little bit of brown, and pretty much the same steps that we took on our lids. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of mascara and apply it to my lashes. For my lashes, I took my lash collab with Lash Kitty and I took the Lash Style Glam on. If you guys want to save some money, you can use my discount code OMG Lashes at checkout and it saves you 10%. Also, I just wanted to mention that now you guys can combine your lashes, like make your own little style box and combine any lash that you want. So all links will be listed down below. Now for my lips, I took this lip liner from Becca. This is the ultimate lip liner in the shade chill i love this it is so creamy the color is so pretty and lining my lips just makes a difference you guys should try it if you don't line your lips already try it you'll be obsessed for my lips i also took this becca lipstick and this is in the shade blush this is the ultimate lipstick love and then i topped it off with a gloss by dose of colors and honey i'm home And here is the final look. Oh my god, you guys. I am absolutely in love with these palettes. Every single shadow that I used was pigment on pigment on pigment. There was very little fallout and the blendability was just crazy. I mean, you guys saw it for yourself. You definitely don't have to be a pro to work these shadows. The shade that I ended up mixing as well was this one right here. All of them are just stunning. I definitely need to do way more makeup tutorials with all of these palettes because oh my god, they're just crazy and for the price, 12 bucks. Oh, I just realized I forgot inner corner highlights. Who am I right now? I'm gonna dig back into the Surreal palette and I'm gonna take this light baby blue. I'm just gonna add that to the inner corner. Much better. Who is she without an inner corner highlight? Much better. Anyway, that is it for me, you guys. This is the final look. This is a quick little makeup tutorial, a blown out smoky eye. I live, I live for smoky eyes. Blue is usually not a color that I go for, but I am loving, living, dreaming about this palette. So let me know if you guys are going to get your hands on any of these palettes. I believe they are now available at CVS. So run to your local CVS store, try these out, and let me know what you think. And also let me know what other makeup tutorial you guys want to see with this palette or with these palettes. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on Makeup Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.